Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. First day on this job site. What we're going to be doing is opening up the backyard for another side yard access. Also, we're going to be doing some underground plumbing, electrical, gas line, barbecue island, fireplace, fire pit, patio slab with the tile on it, all the walls, the face of the um, fireplace, the barbecue island will all have tile eventually. But in this particular part, because this is a multi-part series, this is just going to be your underground and demo, which is crucial, you know, to get to the end. Right here on this end block wall where it turned to the house, we're going to bring that out about another four feet. And then we're going to extend the height. We're going to come up six feet right in this area. And then we're going to drop down to two 12 inch columns with the gate opening. Here's your patio slab existing that we're going to be demoing. No steel reinforcement in here. It's been in here about 35, 40 years. Did pretty well, I would say, considering all the roots from these massive trees around this area. Back here behind the uh, demo hammer, that's where the um, new barbecue island is going to go, right in that corner there. We're going to raise those two walls up, and that's going to incorporate the island itself. And then right at that drain that you see right at the lower screen, that's the one by one. That's an existing, uh, um, what is that, catch basin? That's a uh, one by one catch basin existing. We're going to be joining all of our drain lines to that. Here's our access to this lot. Very difficult access. We got about a 10 foot drop there in about 20 feet. We got to wheel the concrete up and then uphill into the trailer to get anything out of here. Now in that other corner where the walls intersect beyond that little table, that's where the uh, diagonal, the 45 degree fireplace will go, the mantle and you know the heart, the whole package there. Hi, David O'Dell here. This uh, DeWalt circular saw, I'm gonna give it away. You've probably seen me use it quite often, but I have a new one. And uh, so I'm gonna upgrade. Basically, I'm gonna you know keep getting new stuff. So this is probably a year old, maybe maybe a year and a half. You know, mildly mildly used because I'm not a frame where I'm just a form setter, so it's not doing a lot of cutting. So it's got a lot like a lot of life left in it. You got the 60 volt. I'm gonna keep that in there. It's got a blade already in it, but I may take it out and just leave it detached when I mail it. But you know, other than that got the bag got the whole work also I'm gonna throw in a um, charger with it too so uh, just say that you want the DeWalt circular saw put your name in the list randomizer shoots them out I mail out the package good luck I want to give a thanks to the sponsor of this video keeps losing your hair is not the end of the world and keeps is here to help keep offers the only two generic FDA approved medications for hair loss with convenient online doctor consultations and shipping directly to your door, Keeps makes it easy and affordable, paying only half the price you would at a typical pharmacy. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to Keeps.com slash Odell or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash Odell. Thanks again, keeps. So here's where that load went. We had a mixed load on that first one. So this is not a recycling center, this is a landfill. 
and this is where this load's particularly going but all my just straight concrete that'll go to a recycling center but you know what i found recently is that uh per tonnage it's actually less expensive to drop in a landfill than it is to recycle well that's kind of interesting well price increases recently have uh you know swayed where where i can go i mean it's about it's a wash financially to either go to a landfill or to a recycling center the price is about the same just depends on what's closer really at this point and so we're back on site after that load went out and we know that the concrete that we removed was sloping towards that existing drain so the below that concrete that elevation is probably going to be pretty close so now all these planter areas we just have to bring it down to that grade and we're going to probably be pretty close that's my initial thinking in this situation here that let's just bring it down to what we had before because it looked like it was working you know so you know we're just going to go with that and once we get there we'll verify everything with the laser level of course and here here's the laser level now now once we get down to where the old concrete was setting on everywhere in this backyard then we'll just check everything with the laser level make sure that uh we're level all the way around because we are going to probably put tile on these little short walls on the face that's kind of an option at this point it's not undecided but the flat work will definitely get tile the facade of the fireplace the island will get tile the actual wall itself that's kind of up in the air at this point but um knowing that that you know if you're going to be using tiles that are square or rectangle whatever they may be they won't fit a grade it'll be custom cuts on your slab elevation so you know those are some things you want you could keep your perimeter level in this situation and the slope to the drain that way you have no tile cuts on the bottom no tapered cuts but you know you think about all those things as you go through these jobs now all these trenches we're doing right here is uh for your gas line your electrical your low voltage your water line your drain from the sink from the island um right here this is your sprinkler wire wire everything's in conduit a lot of times you'll see direct burial for sprinkler cables low voltage in this particular case everything's going to be in conduit so it's a lot of conduit going in because we're going to have some smaller planters along that existing short little wall and they're going to get you know low voltage you're going to get water the whole works and those right here on this 45 degree coupler i just had purchased at home depot they had defective parts i got them to the job site and realized hey these these are out of round so i'm thinking well you know home depot is about 10 miles from here so what do i do in this situation i really don't want to leave i got to get the job done i've got the parts so i heat them up with a torch slip them over the round pipe that aren't defective and then I make them round again and now as that cools you know it'll just shape the, to the um, how it should be that's a huge fucking tree stump right there oh I got the good blade I got the pruning blades over here Yeah, you need these. You know, the teeth just jam up. Yeah, that's for uh, metal or something, or wood. Yeah. Wood with metal in it. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a bear. Okay. Yeah, I just noticed that, that blade happened to be a um, Diablo brand. Seemed to work pretty good for me before prior to that and uh reusable for sure as long as you don't hit dirt and other obstacles 
here's your fusion on these uh, poly pipes for your gas line they're really foolproof to tell you the truth you cannot go wrong with these poly pipes because I've did them so many times I've never had one leak on me ever as long as you get them hot enough and you slip them together you're solid here's the process you do about 12 to 12 uh, 12 to 20 seconds on your heating at about 450 500 degrees 12 to, I, did, I think I did 12 seconds on all these at 500 degrees that's how long I held them on that heating unit and then uh, just slip them together and it makes them as one so it's basically seamless you could say using this this system you know I did a lot of black pipe to underground galvanized for gas and all that and it's a lot of threads this is so much easier now that little cable that you see there that white one that's a tracer line basically what that allows someone to do in the future is to connect uh, something to either end of those lines they can run a current through those and they can trace the depth and the location of the gas line prior to digging in those those at that area although everything here is covered with concrete so it's well protected it does give you that option to locate stuff though in the future if you needed to That's line right there that you see stubbed up on the house. That's your only electrical going to the barbecue. All these other lines that you see is low voltage. So instead of doing direct burial, you know, it's all in conduit. Which is nice because you may change your mind in the future and say, you know what? I want to run something else over there. May I want to put a lantern? I want to do the. You could pull your cables in and out and, you know, switch them up yearly. Maybe run some Christmas lights time to time whatever you want to do it's there you got a hole to pull stuff through and if you noticed in that electrical there was two pop-ups one going in one going out here's your valve I just dropped a valve in here for going to the sprinkler they're going to go to the sprinkler control valves. There's going to be four of them. Uh, two of them are going to be on a drip system. A drip system. And then uh, the other two are just uh, some spray spray heads. Or, or actually for future. On the ex exterior portion of the wall. For watering. We have an existing water line that we're tying in the new valves to over here. There's my little apparatus I set up over here. That's that's your um, feed line, your water going into your valves, those risers. And then all these other ones are going to be going out to different locations. That little red valve down there is, is a valve that controls the barbecue island only. So you could still have pressure to your sprinklers, but you could shut off the island. And then if you want to shut everything off, then you go underneath that uh, spigot at the house. And you can do a complete shut off. So you've got some options to work with there. So if you're working on one system, you don't have to shut everything off. You know, to work on one system, you can, uh, you know, kind of uh, pick and choose. Alright, so what we have here is this little brass flush mount. That's access for your um, your valve, gas valve for your mobile fire pit. Then over here is a planter bed on your left. The right is going into the new fireplace that we're going to be doing in the next video. Over here is another planter bed. We've got water going in, electri uh, not electric, it's low voltage going in, low voltage going out, and water to the next planter. There's your, um, you know, your drain, your drain area. Over here, I've got your your gas going in 
to the uh, island and then I've got your gas going out over to the fireplace and fire pit I've looped them so I could pressure test of course then we have your drain for your sink your water going in to the sink all this there's one line in there that's electrical all the rest are outgoing low voltage so your main control hub is going to be in that island controls your sprinkler valves control your low voltage lighting you'll do everything from control panel to be accessible from one end of the island will be pretty nice here's your um, valve water shut off island shut off around the corner here that particular one is going into the house that's going to be your uh, 110 going into the island right here you've got your union you've got your shut off you've got 10 mil plastic wrapped around that um, galvanized pipe also used primer you know to glue the uh, 10 mil tape around that so prohibits rusting on that all your risers have to be still coming out of the ground your first connection has to any seam has to be six inches above that also your unions have to be six inches above ground level anyway thanks for watching and have a good day bye